HipFig Travel Channel offers DIY travel video guides for more than 25 cities in Asia, US, and Canada. If you like this video, then subscribe, give us a thumbs up, or a comment. Welcome to HipFig's video guide series on Victoria, British Columbia. In this DIY video, we'll be showing you how to get to Ogden Point Terminal and Breakwater and what to see once you arrive. Ogden Point is located along Dallas Road on the southern tip of Vancouver Island. You can walk about 2.5 kilometers to Ogden Point from the Inner Harbor area. To get to Ogden Point by BC Transit Bus, go on Douglas Street and take bus number 31. Make sure the bus is going towards James Bay and exit on Dallas Street. If you're driving, paid parking is available on the north side of Cruise Shipport near the Helijet Terminal and on the south side by the Breakwater Cafe and Bistro. There are also shuttles available from the Inner Harbor area to Ogden Point. Ogden Point was named after Peter Ogden. He died in 1854. He was a fur trader and explorer employed by the Hudson Bay Company. Ogden Bay is currently a port facility able to handle very large vessels. The Victoria Port is currently the busiest cruise ship port of call in Canada. If you've never seen a cruise ship up close and personal, this is your opportunity. The ships are colossal. There's also a heliport available which offers direct flights to Vancouver Harbor and Vancouver International Airport. The real draw to this area is the breakwater. The breakwater was built in 1916. This rebel mound breakwater is 2,500 feet long and is capped with granite blocks and a concrete walkway. It's roughly a thousand granite blocks weighing a million tons. This was quarried at Hardy Island and shipped to Victoria for use in the breakwater. As you enter the breakwater area, you never know when you'll run into some wildlife. Located at the entrance of the breakwater, there is a sundial. This sundial uses the viewer as the gnomon. Stand on the set of suit prints to see your shadow along the rim to tell the time. There is a scale that can be used to account for the differences in time during the various times of the year. As you walk along this 2,500 foot promenade of the breakwater, you are gifted with sea breezes and views of the ocean and mountains. The breakwater is a popular place for walks on a sunny day and at sunset when you can see the sun go down over the mountains. This is certainly one of my favorite places to visit in Victoria and best of all it's free. There is a lighthouse which was established in 1917 that stands at the end of a long breakwater and overlooks the entrance to Victoria Harbor. Along the sides of the breakwater are gates which allow you to walk on the lower levels. If you're at the breakwater during low tide, take the opportunity to walk on the lower granite blocks to the entrance. The gates are intermittently distributed along the breakwater so you can enter and exit as you like at any of them. If you choose to take this route, wear good shoes. It can get slippery. Along the inner and outer breakwater walls, you'll see murals. In 2009, to honor the traditions and history of the Salish nations, the Unity Wall mural was painted by established First Nations artists. This attraction will take an hour or more depending on your interest, combined with a visit to Fisherman's Wharf. 
Happy travels! Go to hipfig.com for more information or go to our HipFig Travel Channel on YouTube and be sure to subscribe for regular updates.